Shonia is an open source platform that has been built with a vision to enhance the digital presence of underrepresented languages of India by facilitating annotation of data at scale currently supporting contextual sentence verification and contextual translation editing projects shunya has already seen more than a lakh translations being done on it real time in all the 22 scheduled languages of india by more than 100 language experts built with material ui in the front end and django rest framework in the back end Shonya uses PostgreSQL as the database and it integrates the open source tool Label Studio for generating annotation templates and performing annotations. I will show you a short demo of Shonya starting with a manager's perspective first. Making collaboration as well as management easier is this hierarchical arrangement in Shonya comprising organization, workspaces and projects. So this sort of a hierarchical arrangement lets an organization say AI for Bharat coexist on the same platform with some other organization. So every organization has its own organization owner and these are all the list of workspaces which belong to this organization. These are the members who belong to this organization and any new member who has been invited to this organization using this particular feature. So their ID will be present under this invites tab. Reports shows the performance statistics of any project or any user who belong to this particular organization. So let me show you a sample a uh, bengali contextual translation editing project report for the previous week so all reports in shunya can be displayed for a selected date range moving back to workspaces at ai for bharat we have categorized the workspaces based on languages with each language having its own workspace so any multilinguist will be given the option to belong to more than one workspace some other organization can choose to leverage the flexibility of this workspace feature by creating workspaces not based on this language but based on the type of annotation being done inside it a set of annotation tasks within a workspace is grouped into different projects so these are all the list of projects which are present inside this workspace so these are the members who belong to this workspace and every workspace has its own set of managers as well so workspace report again displays the performance statistics for this particular workspace moving on to data sets data sets to follow a hierarchical arrangement in shunya with data set instance being indicating the type of this data set whether it is a translation pair or a sentence text or whether it is an ocr data and each of these data set instances will have its own set of data set rows so when a project is created each of this data set row is converted into a task which is assigned to the user and the user does the annotation on it So taking you through a, a sample sentence text data first so this is an english wikipedia history domain data so this is the language this is the text so this is the sentence which has to be verified by the language expert this is the context from which this particular sentence has been taken this is the corrected text which has been entered by the language expert this is the domain to which it belongs to and this is the status which has been assigned to this particular sentence by the language expert so this shows the list of projects which utilizes this particular data set there are also options to download data set as well as upload more ro rows of data to the same data set instance taking you through a translation pair data set next this is a sample english to assamese contextual translation editing data so these are all the rows of data sets which are present in it so this has the id the input language the output language that is the language into which it has to be translated to this is the input text 
that is the sentence to be translated and this is the translation that was entered by the language expert for this sentence this is the machine translation which was given to them and this is the context from which this particular sentence was taken enabling this contextual sentence verification step before this particular project actually reduce the number of sentences which were being skipped by the translators so this parent data id points to the row in in which this particular sentence belongs to in the contextual sentence verification data set so showing a sample project page next so this is an english to tamil translation project which has about 1834 unassigned tasks so these are all the annotation tasks which belong to it and these are the members who belong to this particular project and a manager can filter by the list of annotators and see which annotator has taken how many tasks and the manager can also filter by the state task statuses and see the number of tasks which are present in each of the status i'll elaborate on the statuses and what they mean when i take you through this application from an annotator's perspective next so this reports page it shows the performance statistics of language experts belonging to this project so this shows the report this shows the number of tasks which has been assigned to this particular language expert the number of tasks which were accepted so which were completed by them these are all the pending tasks these are the number of tasks which was skipped by this user these are the number of tasks which have been marked as draft by this user and this is the word count so the number of words which were translated by this user and this shows the average annotation time so i'll next show you shunya from an annotator's perspective before that i'll also take you through create a project so click on add new annotation inside any workspace wherein you want to create this enter the title the description the category so which will be translation which will be contextual translation editing the source language is english the target language is assamese english to assamese contextual translation editing data which we just now saw in the data sets tab so this shows a preview of all the rows of data and while creating the project the manager has this flexibility to either do a random sampling wherein you can enter the percentage which you want uh, a percentage of the data which you want to be utilized in this project and you can also do the batch mode creation or you can choose to do a full mode creation wherein uh, the entire set of data set so there will be about 3312 tasks created for this particular project so next step is to add users to this project so i this particular list actually shows the list of users who belong to this workspace so i'll also show you the project settings page so this is the project settings page here there is this option to export the project back into the data set using which one can export the translations done by the language experts back into the source data set then this is the option to pull in more data items from the source data set into this project this is for archiving the project this is for downloading the project and this is for enabling task reviews for this project so going back so these are all the tasks which have been created we can also add the reviewers to this newly created project so once the reviewers are added as well we'll go back to the project settings page and then click on publish project so only when a project is published the annotator will be able to access this particular project so logging in with the annotator account to whom we assigned this project and so as you can see this annotator doesn't really have access to either the organizations tab or the workspace tab and they have access only to the list of projects to which they have been assigned to so this is the newly created project test english to assamese project so shonya offers this flexibility to the annotators to choose the number of tasks in which they want to work in 
so they can pull the number of tasks in a sets of 5 10 or 15 so i am pulling a new batch of 10 tasks and these are all the tasks that have been assigned to this user so the user can either click on this annotate button and do one annotation at a time or then they can click on start labeling and start doing the annotations right away so they can either edit the words here and enter new words or they can choose to delete this annotation so by default this machine translation is pre-populated into this box and the user can either delete it edit it or click on this delete to altogether clear the annotation and enter a new annotation so here the context is shown so there's a context from where this sentence was taken and once they do complete their annotation they can click on this submit button so it automatically takes them to the next task they can choose to skip this one so let's say there is some doubt on this and they want to discuss it later on so they can add some notes some notes and mark it as draft and get back to this later so they can continue to label then they can go back to the project and track their progress so they can also use the report tab to see the number of tasks which they have done further a user can go to their profile page and go to this my progress and here again they can track their progress So this again shows their performance in each of the projects. So Shunya also has this feature of enabling right to left typing for languages like Urdu and Kashmiri. So this will enable them to do that. And also for languages like Santali, wherein the users wanted not English sentences but Bengali sentences to be given to them so those have also been done so instead of English sentences the Santali folks will see the Bengali sentence and they will enter the translation for it in Santali moving on to reviewers perspective of Shunya next so this is the reviewer to whom we assign this newly created project to so this is the newly created test English to Assamese project so the reviewer too has this option of pulling in a new batch of tasks. So all those which were marked as labeled by the language expert will be assigned to this reviewer. So one other feature which I missed out telling was this deallocate task which can be used by this annotator as well as this reviewer to deallocate any of the tasks which are pending under them. So they can click on this either the start reviewing now or this annotator or this reviewer can choose to click on this review button so the reviewer can either make changes to this and click on this accept or just accept it as it is the reviewer can go ahead and add some notes and click on reject so in this case the notes and the task will be sent back to the translator so now let us go back to this translators perspective so this is the project and here again the language expert can look at this rejected task see the notes from the reviewer make changes to this whatever is required and then submit it once again the reviewer can then look at the notes and then and the annotation and then can accept it again I'll also show you a sample contextual sentence verification project. So this is the contextual sentence verification project. So this is the English sentence which has to be verified. And these are all the quality statuses which can be assigned. Clean, profane, difficult vocabulary, ambiguous sentence, context incomplete or corrupt. So only those sentences which are being marked as clean will be taken for the further projects like translation editing. So this concludes the basic workflow of Shunya. Thank you.